We're going to ask a question. Let it be today. Because yeah. Bunny, Bunny, getting her in here, we get her once a week. And we want to use that <laughs> girl brain. Okay, so let me let me bring this to you. So this is the pretend musician engineer doctor. Why even argue? She'll just gaslight you. Just drop her off at home, leave quietly, and never contact her again. And then you said sunk cost fallacy. I've already invested five okay. years of my life into this. So play. this pretend musician was commenting on a video that I guess we can watch it later. And it's the guy's videoing. He grabs the girlfriend's phone. Oh, 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 I didn't know those two went and together. Every, well, and I put him in the wrong order. And I, That's okay. I have that. Hold do you on. want to show the video? Yeah, that's cool. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> there, Nothing. All right. Dude, stop. Stop! Get off! What were you doing? I'm serious, let go. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. What was that? Babe, nothing. Why don't touch you? my stuff. You can ask for it, but don't just grab it out of my hands. That's such a red flag, babe. No, it's not. I don't grab your phone. I literally was recording to see what you would do if I grabbed your phone. I don't grab your phone. I don't care. That was major red flag. I can't even look at your phone. No. Why? What if I'm doing something important and you like ruined it? It's none of your business. Nah. See why you deleting stuff now, oh my. Dude, leave me alone. I, I don't grab your phone, so I don't grab mine. I don't care what you do on yours. You'd be doing too much. Why? I can't trust you now. Okay. I got proof. I got proof you're hiding stuff. It's your choice to trust me, so. Oh, it's my choice to trust. Yeah. What is your problem, dude? See, this, I knew it. Okay. I knew it all along. You didn't see anything. <laughs> that that Jedi mind trick at the very end, where she goes, you didn't see anything. Yeah. And, and I'm sure they're still together. I have no doubt in my mind. Unless she went off with whoever she was already talking to. Yeah. So there's there's a few points to this. And the original point is, is you need to have access to fun. Right, right. And, and guys, the first question guys always ask is, when should this start? Whenever she asks for exclusivity, it's a condition of you being exclusive. Yeah. If she wants you to only see her, you don't have time to have a gut instinct or to worry or you just need to have it. And the idea of having access to the phone is prevention. Yeah. It's not you want to catch her red handed or catch her when she has a dick inside her. You want to. Um, it's like locking the door. Yeah. It doesn't mean they're not going to break in somewhere. Yeah. They're just not going to break in at that door because it's locked. Yeah. And if. You're able to see everything going on. Most girls are lazy. Deleting things or having a burner phone isn't really in their realm. Um, you're preventing dumb shit from happening. Right. And that's 90% of your job. A lot of it is preventing, protecting her from herself. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and making it challenging enough that she goes, you know what? That's not worth it. Yeah. Because he might open my phone. I'm fucked. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so they don't entertain. Yeah. You know, a lot of guys, they, when they first do this, they'll reach in and they'll see conversations that are still ongoing right. from before. And, you know, you say, well, what, you know, what's, what's going on here? And that stuff goes away because yeah. she's like, I don't like uncomfortable questions. Right. You know, exactly. I don't, I don't want to go through that. Um, and once all that is extinguished, you tend to not have to deal with anything. It's true. You know, um, and so you, the guy has a gut instinct. Everybody yeah. gets a gut instinct when something's going awry. Very rarely do they get caught completely off guard. Yeah. Um, and again, <laughs> it's a red flag. She, it's a red flag more like if she asks for exclusivity. Yeah. And there's no exchange of phone passwords, you know, or access. Right. I don't think, I think that's a bigger red flag. Um, and everybody always jumps in on these videos. He should just push her out of the moving car. He should like, and you never know if they've been together three years, five years, 10 years. Yeah. Do they have kids together? 
there's always the guys that, and I, I should start asking, how, what's your longest relationship? And they'd be right. like, well, I haven't had one. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's true. sunk cost fallacy is we find out in business, you're pouring your heart and soul into this business, and it's a pile of shit. And it's on fire. <laughs> and you need to literally push it out of the door right. of a moving vehicle. <laughs> But you don't because you've already invested right. 10 years of your life and your identity is wrapped up. Yeah. Very <laughs> the same thing happens with women. Yeah. That man has invested himself emotionally and yeah. financially and perhaps through the state. You know, right. they've got a government document that says they're together. Um, so it makes it more difficult. To just simply push her out of a moving vehicle. <laughs> These guys that, you know, and, and I think that there are men out there and there are lines that get crossed where the guy literally like pushes all of her shit into the yard. Right. And locks the door and changes the locks. Right. It's very rare. Yeah. Most of the, like this gentleman is a little bit soft in the first place. Yeah. They're going to try to make things work. Yeah. You know, so. That's the real Is your deal. phone over there? Yes. So here's, <laughs> see how easy that was? Anyway, so let's say that she has her phone right there. Because because we get a lot of pushback about this when we talk about, tra you know, transparency with the phone, passwords, mm -hmm. whatever. And it's not about you just like, my phone is on the stand. That's why we're not using my phone for this demonstration. But it's not about you constantly monitoring what she's doing because guys will be like, that's a full-time job. Why would I? I don't. Yeah, I don't, you, don't I, yeah you don't have time. You don't have time for that. I've got too much going on. It's about gauging her responses when you reach for it. And that's the best test that you can have. So let's say that, that you want to test this and her phone is kind of out there for you. And, and your phone, you know, is on another table or something like that or charging or whatever. And you're like, hey, let's take a picture. Or, hey, let me look up, you know, what's the weather doing? Like anything. And you just pick up her phone. And if it's got a password, you say, what's the password? And, you know, where's your where's your your uh, weather app? You know, just normal stuff. Gauging her responses to all of this yeah. will tell you everything you need to know about how she feels about what's going on in her phone one, one of the biggest green flags you can find is when you go what's your password and it's your birthday <laughs> or the day you met isn't that what you yeah, yeah. <laughs> usually she's pretty bought in at that point that's pretty funny <laughs> what's your password and then she tells you your own birthday back <laughs> you're like okay but that's the real deal with the phones and it just it just makes life easier it does it does. It may be an uncomfortable, you know, conversation on the front end because girls have never been put on the line like that. Yeah. That's not your problem. No. Your your concern is stability and predictability. Yeah. And keeping her from harming your relationship with her. Yeah, because a girl who knows that even if you're not digging in her phone constantly, those that you have at least limited, you know, some version of access, you can notice when strange apps go on there you know the encrypted apps the, the those kinds of apps yeah. if there's no reason if she's not an international business then she doesn't really need you what's that it what yeah. yeah the the apps that only you know other countries use let's say um you know and what i always say also is even a girl who tries who he has essentially access to her phone and she tries to kind of pull one over on him Everyone messes up sometime. And it usually doesn't take you being a private investigator to catch it. No, no. And and a girl that, you know, you have access to her phone has one foot out the door. Yeah. She's probably just gonna not she's gonna be sloppy anyway. Yeah. Because you know? she's not she doesn't care. No. That's true. That's very true. That's and the deal with phone access. I feel bad for that. And sunk cost fallacy. Yes. Yeah. He seemed like a very nice guy yeah and she yeah. seemed like a true bitch yeah well and just like i don't care what you do on your phone 
it, it kind of makes me think that that couple isn't really a couple. They're more like fuck buddies yeah. or oh, something. Yeah, that's interesting. Like, I see what you're saying, yeah. Like they fuck around or whatever, or right. maybe they're just friends. I don't know. Right, it's just, a good I point. mean, just the fact that, of course, I'm always, I always kind of nitpick, like, what people call each other. And, and her first thing is, dude. And I'm like, yeah. that's not really, Yeah. That's, that's more like a friend zone kind of nickname that girl, uh, girls are purposeful when they yeah. call their guy something. And if she's calling him dude. As opposed to his name. Yeah, or baby or, yeah, you know, any of it. Like, that's a good point. It's a, it's a bad sign. All right, I genuinely love this video. This is, this is pretty exciting. I think this is adorable.